also, uh, I would like to uh, invite to join me Tiara Mellin. He is the head of cybersecurity at OP Financial Group. Please. <laughs> So no scary smoke for me, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. All right, so thank you all for all your comments and questions on Twitter. Um, now uh, we will start with questions on security trends. So here is the first question. Uh, so what are the best indicators to know if my company is ready for a security breach? <laughs> I think we have all the experts in the audience right now, so whatever answer I will give would be the wrong answer. <laughs> but but in, in our sense, I mean, it's when it starts to happen transaction. If you look at like frauds and identity thefts and, and things like that for companies, that, then actually you will see things happening, you will see transactions, things like that. When it comes to what we've been discussed before, I mean, about cyber threats and cyber crimes, it, it is attacks, of course. It's, it's you know, cyber attacks to your network and, and servers. And, and hopefully, you will have all of those great <laughs> indicators that we've seen here before. All right. So what is your view on this? Yeah. When, when, when a company is ready for, for such a thing, I guess never. And, and, and I think that's one of the things that why we are here is, is, is to try to, to, to prevent on, on, on this. But of course, uh, this comes down to, to, uh, to Knowing that, that you have the right talent in place, that you have, have the, uh, the, 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 the tools of you, obviously, and, 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 and that. So the preparedness is, is obviously, of course, the key. All right. So uh, another question about security. Uh, it's how often should I perform a risk assessment? <laughs> Again, I think we, we, we have all the experts and, and a lot of experts been speaking, but I think risk assessment must, must be an ongoing, you know, it, it shouldn't be a product, it should be a process. You should risk assess all the time and you heard, you heard here about that, I mean, to do simulated attacks and things like that, to do simulated phishing, uh, it's necessary, you need to do it because, again, there is a lot of technology uh, available right now, but it's still the human factor there. You can get lazy, you have the fatigue issue that was up here as well. Uh, you, you take away the, those limitations because you get lazy and boom, it happens. So, uh, regularly and unregularly. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's also, also being uh, kind of a, the, the regulated business that, that, that we are in the financial sector, obviously, of course, kind of a, there are other people who are telling us that how often should we be assessed uh, in, in that sense. But in, uh, Truth, Truth uh, said, yes, the risk assessment is, is, uh, needs to be continuous. And, and, and for example, in, in our case, when we are, we are also known as a bank, of course, and an insurance company, but we are also a very big software house as well, uh, and, and developing a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, uh, services. And, and, and obviously, in, in that sense, it's continuous work. We have to do that every day and, and, and to, to each piece of code and, 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 and in that sense. So defend, depending on kind of how you define the security uh, assessment in, 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 in that scope. All right, so uh, now uh, moving on to the questions on talent acquisition trends. Um, our attendees would like to know uh, what's the best approach when candidates are asking for higher and higher salaries? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that 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 that's a that's a good question in in a sense, and it's like like okay, uh, and now all the security guys start throwing things at me, in 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 a sense. But obviously, of course, that is a bit of a challenge in in a sense. It's like uh, for example here in Finland when uh, the uh, it's we say that everybody knows everybody to some extent. Obviously, of course, that is true, uh, and of course there is kind of a you, you know people are changing the the literally uh, uh, in the, the side of the road and and and. and Every time when, when somebody changes, when the talent changes the, 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 the company, there's a, like, like plus 200 or 500 euros or whatever. And, and eventually, yes, it, it will become, a, become a, a big issue also, also for, the, for, the, uh, for us professionals. Okay, so also for the team, like in the company. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think about this? Yeah, I agree with Tara a lot. Um, I mean, this, this is a problem. Then you need to 
take in consideration, I'm, you know, this is the Nordic countries. We're a little bit shy, so I don't <laughs> yeah, think our sure. problem is that big. But, but yeah. again, we touched upon it's a global market. So, I mean, yeah. expert could travel, expert could go abroad. Uh, I mean, it's like a little bit of debating like the CEO's salary yeah. that if you find the right expert, you might, you know, you might need yeah. to invest because in the long term you need those experts. But, but of course, you don't need to have, on the other hand, you don't, it's, it's complex. You don't need, you need if, you, if you have a team, then of course you will yeah. start having problems you know, building a team together, as yeah. Terry touched upon as well. So it is yeah. complex, uh, but, but again, we need to invest. And, and I guess it's also about, the salary is one thing and, 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 and those areas, but it's also kind of how to retain the talent or how to keep the talent or, or, or get the right talent in. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, we, 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 we all have loans, loans to pay and, 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 and this thing, salary is an important thing. But I also think that it is important that depending on kind of a, what is your service, like, like in, in our case, I, I, I think that kind of, a, you know, the, the, the way to get the, the right talent in is, is to be able to say that we have a good team, we are doing a lot of important, we are doing a things at bank that truly matters for the society as well. So kind of a touching on that side of the security people uh, and, 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 and that, those, those things. Then, if, then again, if you're a professional service provider, uh, the likes, likes we see here as, as well, it is about kind of a, you as a company manager or, or, or salesperson, you need to find the right clients and then the security talent will want to work with you because obviously, of course, we always want to be where the action is or where the, uh, where the most interesting things is. So this question is a bit more about, about uh, uh, just kind of, a, you know, getting a salary raise and, 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 and those. And I, I guess it's also a bit about the, uh, the, the, the job security thing as well. Definitely, but, but you're absolutely right. I think to, b to build more than just the salary, it's one of the big answers around this, to, ha to have a good atmosphere and a great culture within the company that attracts talent as well that you actually want to evolve and, and, and stay in the company. So yeah, and uh, we need to find out who tweeted that, <laughs> who tweeted that question. <laughs> okay, so moving on with uh, talent acquisitions. Um, what is the best way to keep employees in the company? The good talent. Chain them in or lock them in different places, <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the approach. No, I guess it is it's like, like uh, a bit of the, the kind of continuing on the previous comment in, in a sense, it's like, like when, we, when we know that, that, uh, that, that we are doing something significant or important, and not only for, for, for ourselves, but also for, for the greater community, for the company, and it's actually uh, for, for, for those non-techies or for, for non-information security people, I guess that there are also, I see a lot of, lot of colleagues here, uh, but, but also, also that people who work uh, for security in, in the security business are also typically in your companies, those guys who understand, guys and girls who understand the business processes, they know your system, they know, so, so there is also this uh, security profession part, but there is also this, this kind of a, that if, you, if, you, if, if your business is interesting and, 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 and that area as well. Which is, I, I think, sometimes uh, we tend to be, be kind of a, uh, forget that 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 also has a, has an yeah. um, uh, the the, uh, the importance, and then of course, kind of, I, I guess it's also like like said, having a good team and and, 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 and having 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 those things. In in quick comment and uh, on, on 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 that side is is that, for example, in our team uh, we have a lot of a lot of online dialogue because we the location we're not all located in the same the same space. But it's kind of also good to see that whenever you are in a situation that people under stress, under lots of hurry and lots of things to do, right. still can and can maintain this, this, this bad jokes atmosphere, <laughs> then you know that your team is okay. All right, so do you have any other examples of how no, to keep them I, I in the company? I think Tara has mentioned most of it. And, and basically, I mean, it's the culture question is, of course, to always have challenges to explain how it's all fit together. Um, basically, maybe to have like job rotation programs, educational programs, stuff like that, uh, very important. But but basically, I think it, it's you know more or less a culture problem that, that you know if you build if you build the right company culture, it's a lot easier to actually keep the talent within the company. It goes for you know it goes for for uh, information security. It goes for most of our colleagues that if you if you feel that you work in a great company, you, you tend to stay longer. 
already in all. Also, also mm -hmm. about this, that kind of a, is it always a bad thing when people are leaving the company? Because it's also, um, you know, I've had a couple of pla uh, places. <laughs> I, I didn't kind of went to OP straight from the school and, 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 and been working in, in, in many great companies uh, and, and, and in, in those. And, and, and also, it, it's retaining the right talent at the right time, but of course, that's an important thing. But also, then, then again, it's good to see, uh, see uh, a bit, bit around as well. No, I right. agree to that. I mean, we had a quick conversation in the sofa before. Yeah. And we, we have so much different cultures, even in the Nordics. I mean, if you look upon Finns and Swedes, but if you compare to Denmark, then we have a totally different culture where it's actually more accepted to move around and, and change the employer and, and, and so on. So I think we shouldn't be too afraid that it's actually a good thing to, to, to have different uh, jobs as well. Yeah. Yeah, for, well, for example, uh, uh, we were talking about how long uh, the recruitment uh, processes can be. For example, in France, they can take like months. And for example, I'm from Mexico and it's almost like in the US. And then one day you can have a job and the next day you can like, you lose your job. So, and we were uh, talking about, you know, how can you lose, you know, candidates during the recruiting uh, process? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If, if, the, if the process is very long, uh, and, and I guess it depends also on, 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 on to what level you are hiring, obviously, for, for the top uh, places, the companies have more, more, more maybe kind of a benefit of this, that, okay, the processes can be long uh, and, 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 and that, but there is a risk. If, 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 the pro, if, the H, if, if your hiring process is very long, the candidate, typically the people who are moving, who are, are in a situation of thinking that might, might be looking for something else as well, uh, this... You're, you're not the only one, and there are others who are also after that same talent. And if your process is too low, uh, too slow, in in that sense, you 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 might end up losing losing the perfect candidate just uh, uh, right at the uh, at, at the goal line. This is a, this is really a big question. I mean, you're you're lifting the lid of something that is like we have like the gig economy, we have new generation coming in with new demands on us as companies. Uh, this yeah. is this is big, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, another question is about uh, recommendations when recruiting with a limited budget. I think what, one of the things that I touched upon when I did my presentation is that, I mean, maybe we need to think about bringing in, like, not only the, the technical specialists that bring in people that have other skill sets as well that doesn't necessarily need to because to fit together a good security team or... or team around cybersecurity, I mean, we, we need definitely the technical expert, but we also need, a, you know, the big, big thinkers that could actually detect kind of different kind of uh, problems that we have, different type of, of uh, you know, monitoring different things like that. So think about bringing in process specialists or project specialists from other kind of lines of businesses. Um, I think that would be one of the things I would be looking yeah. at. Right. And it's also about kind of a thinking on, on, on whether you, you truly need to hire certain talent uh, kind of for your own. Because like said, again, there are, there are, there's lots of professional help also available and that's one avenue of, of looking. And it is also about kind of a thinking that, okay, do, 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 do you really need to hire a person in the company who, who, who knows how to kind of implement a DLP project or something? You need to hire the guys who understand the DLP and can then function on, the, on that and do those things. So it's also about looking at the, the, the investment in, 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 in talent also from, from, from that point of view. And I guess it's also the other, other thing is that, like I said, at least in here in Finland, it's the... Uh, the, the uh, it's limited number of, 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 of talented skills that, that, that you have. And if, if all of us, all the companies are, are you know, hiring each <laughs> of, of, of those and, 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 and that, that as well. So, so about the, you know, what is the right level of investment uh, to, to, to this? I, I also think this from, from, uh, from this approach as well, that is, it, is it really needed? I also think that might be like another way of thinking around this that some of the speakers touched upon. I mean, a workaround would be to, you know, to, to, to level up the kind of, you know, to leverage the knowledge in the, in the total yeah. company to actually get the organization more knowledgeable yeah. about the threats, the, the cybersecurity threats that we're out for and, and to, to work with the whole organization. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. 
bring in external consultancies when needed, but to gear up that, that would probably be a workaround as well, that you, know, you have a, a high level of uh, kind of knowledge around the, the full, full organization in the company. And it is a problem, and we, we see that in our researchers, because if you come to the, the major enterprises, there are a lot of resources, and they can pay, probably, you know, they, they can put out the big paychecks. Uh, if you come to the SME market or to the really small companies, if you're like 10 employees or 50 employees, to, to, to take that piece of the budget to actually, you know, put on cyber security, they will go, whoa! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> And it's also kind of a, a smart in that investment is, is, is one, of, one, of, one of the things that, that, that I personally think is, is very important is the diversity of, of the teams that, that, kind of, that, that, that you have. So, so the, and diversity uh, in, 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 in age, in, 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 in gender, in, in knowledge and, and, and those. And also looking when we have the talent gap uh, and, and, and difficulties to find a security professional. I, I also also urge people to look for other talents, kind of you know, because the security people we need we do need soft skills. We need to understand the business. We need to do do, do lots of lots of those areas as well. So sometimes a smart investment can be that that you actually hire a guy outside of the. Uh, security uh, realm, so to say, and, 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 and kind of somebody who has, has the business knowledge and all, all, of, all of that, <laughs> security is easy business then. <laughs> uh, it, it's pretty cool it's that you talk is. about diversity. And uh, what I wanted to share with you is that, for example, if you have a limited budget and you want to have more women in your teams, for example, in France, I'm part of a non-profit organization that it's called CEFSIS, and is the women for uh, is the network for women in cybersecurity. And then companies can share with us their job offers, you know, and we can help them to to integrate uh, more women into their teams. And also, there is a, a pretty cool uh, initiative. Uh, that has been um, in place uh, by the European Cybersecurity Organization. The name is Women for Cyber, and it's a foundation to help companies adapt to the needs of the market. And if you want to know uh, who you should contact here in Finland to help you uh, integrate more women in into your teams, you can uh, send me a message on LinkedIn and I can put you uh, in contact with the person here in Finland or in any country in the European Union. Okay, so uh, any final comments that uh, you want to add? Any tips uh, of you know, the, how to better recruit the talent nowadays? I think we cover most of it. I mean, it yeah. is a big, it is a big kind of area to 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 discuss, and, and there is loads of different, you know, ways into this, and, and we, we have a problem, and definitely we will need more ed well ed we will need more well educated expert. Definitely, we will need to bring in like diversity and, and yeah. not paying them less, but paying. Maybe then more because they're okay, they, not they agree more. <laughs> so br bring in women, bring in females, definitely in the sector, uh, things like that. So, but, but yeah, um, I, I think again, as I think, think about what, what I had in presentation that we have like high tech, low tech, and, and no tech because it is a mix of that for the future. We need experts. I mean, mm. I would probably look at you know bringing in psychologists mm. because we need that. I mean, yeah, exactly. we need to think about that. It's not only technical questions that we need to address. Yeah, depending on which studies you, you read on and, and believe, but kind of a comments, uh, seeing seen comments that by 2021 uh, in, in the world will have a shortage of 3.5 million uh, security professionals, which means that if everybody who is in the working age at Finland right now today starts to, to learn, learn cybersecurity, we'd be all hired by 2021, not in Finland, but, but in, in that sense. So obviously the gap, gap uh, the talent gap is such, such a big thing that, that, that we, we do definitely need to look how to convert <laughs> people from, from other business lines to, to, to secure the business. All right, so thank you very much. And thank you very much for your attention and participation. Now it's time for a 30 minute break. 
uh, you will find healthy shops at the back of the venue, also coffee at the back of the hall. And remember, if you have pre-booked meetings, all the information is at the back of your badge. And if you need a taxi or any further assistance, uh, the reception staff will be happy to help you. And don't forget, we still have three amazing speakers coming up. So see you soon. Thank you.